When I was in eighth grade, I got to go to Washington, D.C. for National Math Council. It was awesome. But you know what I really remember? Not touring the city and all the monuments, not even the math problems. It's the escalators on the D.C. Metro. Have you seen these things? They're ridiculous. They're like a mile long. They're ridiculous. You can, you can hardly even see the top of them. You stand there, there's one going up, there's one coming down. There's a little bright light all the way. You hope it's sky way up there at the top. It's amazing. Now, there are two ways you can measure how long it'll take you to ride all the way up to the top. The boring way and the fun way. Now, the boring way is to just get on, boring old up escalator, and stand there, hit your timer, and wait to get to the top. That's really boring. The fun way, you get there, you stand there at the bottom of the up escalator, you start your timer, and you run. You run up the up escalators fast as you can. And you're timing it, you time it, you write that time down, and then you come back down, you come back down, and then you get to do what you've always wanted to do. You know you want to do this. You stand there at the bottom of the down escalator, start your timer, and you run up the down escalator. Say, hey, mom, hey, mom. Math problem. I'm doing a math problem. Mr. Rusick told me to do this. See, that's your reward for learning how to say my last name. You can blame it on me. You run up the down escalator. You time that too. Now you've got two numbers. You've got these two times. And you can figure out how long it would have taken you for just doing the boring thing, getting on the up escalator and just standing there while it does all the work. We've got a math problem. Now suppose that trip running up the down escalator is just 60 seconds of awesome fun. And running up the up escalator, that's 24 seconds. How long would it have taken just to ride up the up escalator? Well, we got all these words. We're going to turn it into a math problem. We're going to need some variables. Let's try this. We use D is going to be our distance. It's our length of the escalator. Just one trip up the escalator. Now, let's think about what's going on here. When you're running up the up escalator, there's two things going on. There's you running, and there's the escalator pushing you up. Escalator's helping you out, pushing you along. So there's the speed of the escalator moving, and then there's your running speed, and we're putting these two things together. And when you're running up the down escalator, there's two things going on. There's you running. And there's the escalator pushing back against you. It's not helping you then, but still we've got two things going on. There's you running, escalator going down, and the resulting speed is the difference of these. You running minus the speed that the escalator's taking away. So we need two more variables for our speeds. One is the escalator. So I'll use S for escalator. And then I'll use R for running with no escalator so that when you're running up the escalator your actual speed is the sum of these because there's you running and the escalator also pulling you up but when you're running up the down escalator it's the difference your speed is the difference of these it's R minus S because it's you running minus the escalator taking you away and we're given the times here so we can write some equations. First, for running up the down escalator, we'll cover the whole escalator, the whole distance, is our rate times the time. Well, the time is the 60 seconds. And our rate, when we're running up the down escalator, is the difference of these. It's r minus s. So what about when we run up the up escalator? Well, now our time is. 24, and our rate is the sum of these because our running is working together with the speed of the escalator. And, well, we have to figure out how long it takes to ride up the up escalator. So, what, well, we have another equation there, and that is the time that we're looking for times just riding on the escalator will take us up the entire escalator. This t is what we're looking for, how long it takes to ride up there, boring old riding, no running at all. Oh. Well, we can put these two equations together. We've got two different expressions for, for d here. We can just set them equal. 60 times r minus s equals 24 times r plus s. Now, we turn all these words into equations. 
we know how to work with equations. We'll expand both sides here. 60r minus 60s equals 24r plus 24s. All right, well, I can subtract 24r from both sides. Add 60s to both sides. I'll divide both sides by 36. Take out a common factor of 12, 84 over 36. Pull out a common factor of 12. We're left with 7 thirds s. Um, not so sure what I'm going to do with that, but hey, wait a second. I can take this and I can put this up here. All I want to know is when I have distance equals some amount of time times s. I want to figure out what this time is. So if I can express d in terms of s, I should be able to solve the problem. I can do that. I can put this in right up here. I can take this equation. I have d equals 24 times 7 thirds s plus s. So d is 24. 7 thirds s plus 3 thirds s is 10 thirds s. So we have 24 times 10 thirds, 24 divided by 3 is 8, 8 times 10 is 80s. So we see that d, d is 80 times s. So our time is 80 seconds. So 80 seconds, that means while your mom is just riding up the up escalator and you're running up the down escalator, you're going to beat her there by 20 seconds.